We're talking to Patrick Munyambate, the group CEO of FEMA, a company that's located in Shamdor, Krugersdorp. Patrick, what are you going to do with this 500 million new investment, yeah. a new injection into the yeah. company? What is that going to yeah. buy for you? Look, Martin, it's going to buy a new line. Um, a new line will cost close on to around about 350 million. Even though we're the only local producer of BOPP in South Africa, we only produce a third of what the market requires. So there's another 18,000 tons, which is close on two thirds um, that the market requires that's importing at the moment. So the expansion and the new line is going to be able to to give us opportunity to supply the South African market. And we've seen the textile industry tank. Yes. Uh, is there yes. a danger that if you don't reinvest heavily in this company, we could also have you know, this ingredient that goes into packaging being lost to South Africa? Definitely, Martin. Um, I think that from a government point of view, uh, we were, um, they have the same concern that the plastic industry is going to go the same way of the textiles. So the DTI have, have uh, decided to, to come to our business and ask us what assistance we need. And that's really important. I think the, from a DTI perspective, they would like to create at least 10,000 new jobs in the plastic industry. And in terms of our business, downstream and upstream, there's potential to create 2,000 jobs. You know, so the DTI have been very helpful in terms of assisting us um, with the IDC in terms of getting the funding to expand this business so that this business uh, stays alive. We've used the strength of the RAND to import. We were, um, we've only got production of 12,000 tons. So what we did last year was we say, okay, what is our plan? We need to expand the business. To do that, we need to increase our market share. So what we did is we imported close on to 3,000, 3,500 tons of film. Our goal is to cover the whole South African um, um, market. And that's why we, our, our strategic goal is to get a new line in. But we need to understand something. It's going to take two years to install the line and commission it. So the new line is only going to um, be commissioned and start operation quarter one, 2013. The story of uh, FEMA is, is quite an exciting one. Um, it started off um, in 2009. We were owned by a German company called uh, uh, Triofan uh, GmbH, a company headquartered in Frankfurt. In 2009, uh, the Triofan group decided to go on a formal disposal process. And uh, myself and my partner, then Peter Swart, had the opportunity to do a management buyout. Uh, we went through the formal disposal process and in, in, two, in 2009, October, the management buyout was, was complete. And through the assistance um, from a funding perspective from BOE and NetBank, we were able to buy the company. Uh, we, management had a 30% uh, stake in the business and we had a private equity company called Athena Capital which was headed by uh, Mr. John Heinemann. Um, soon after that, they soon realized that the, the business was a lot bigger than what they thought it was. That a huge, um, there was a huge story in terms of expanding the business, where it would require an investment of, of close to 500 million. And they soon realized that it was very important to bring in a BE partner. And um, they assisted me to find a BE partner called Empower Investment Holdings. And um, with Empower Investment Holdings, we've now become 100% black owned. And uh, this gives us a huge opportunity to expand the business by getting uh, funding from institutions such as the, the IDC and the DTI. We buy 80% of our raw materials locally um, from Sassel and Safripol. We're going to be moving from a company that's purchasing close on to 12,000 tons of polymer to purchasing 40,000 tons of polymer. At the moment, Sassel export most of their, their polymer, okay, and now we get, they're going to have a customer that can purchase at least a third of what they produce. And so we've got this big import substitution opportunity of almost two thirds, but what about exports? We've been supplying East Africa and West Africa. With the new line, um, our, there's huge opportunity in terms of supplying to West Africa and East Africa, especially Nigeria. As you know, Nigeria has got a population of 185 million and their consumption of BOPP film is close on to 60,000 tons. And why should people consume BOPP? Every day that you go to a, to a grocery store, um, you know, our, our wives are consuming this, uh, as, you, as you can't believe. The main purpose of BOPP is, is to protect food, okay, and to inform customers. Um, so most of our BOPP is being used for um, your snack packaging and your confectionery packaging. In terms of beverages, all your labels that go on your two liter PET bottles are all BOPP. BOPP stands for Biaxially Oriented Polypropylene, 
Um, it's, it, the, the buy actually is because the form is stretched in two directions, in the machine direction and also it's stretched in, in the transverse direction. Uh, BOPP is a generic term, it can be used by, by anyone. But in terms of our technology, our technology is on the platform of Triofan, our former owner. So we have a royalty that we pay to Triofan on an annual basis. That makes sure that we tap into the German R&D uh, based in, 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 in Frankfurt. Would you ever look to going on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange? My vision to be the leading supplier in Africa of, of high quality, flexible packaging films through investing in the best people, advanced technology and service excellence. Um, I think that that vision uh, will require for us to, to list on the JSE. Our ambition is to first take our business from a 300 million turnover business to, to be close on to a billion and list within the next five years.